Batman is gone. The Batman is gone. He could no longer hurt me anymore. <laughs> oh. oh, thank God. Ah, uh, uh, it was way too late, but it's over. I can't believe I actually did it. Is this how you felt when they fired Joe Judge and Pat Shermer and Ben McAdoo? You know, Joe Judge had a pizza party, and I did too. I was like, you know what? I'm going to order some Pizza Hut and uh enjoy the day as well because this is this is look you don't want someone to lose their job i mean right? at the end of the day if if you're incompetent in what you do you're just setting every, like the person on top of you setting yourself up for failure and even when and like you know you're not a fit for a job no matter what you do i've had it last week you know, Jet it sweeps, was free snap motion. And like, this is stuff that I, I'm looking at. It's like, this is the shit that we ran in middle school. Quick passes to the outside screens, halfback power on occasion and jet sweeps. Like, that's not a pro offense. Nobody's going to get fooled by that. And the endless free snap motion, they weren't even getting fooled by it. The defense wasn't moving. One of the things that was damning in the Texans game, Matt Canada had allegedly said this team wasn't built to come back from deficits, which is incredibly damning. Mm -hmm. If you're an offense, you should have full confidence in your team to come back from a double digit or sometimes, you know, multi-score lead. You can't be to the point where it's like, oh, you're down by 10. Game's pretty much over. Do you miss him yet? Do you miss him five? Uh, I, I miss him a little just because he knew how to tank. Like, he was a tank master. Like, mm -hmm. the dude knew. Like, come on. You got to give him credit. Running a sneak on your own freaking three-yard line. Like, mm -hmm. that's just, that's artistry right there, right? Like, that is Doug Peterson level like I am just giving up. Hundo, let's yeah, hit the Jeebus bomb. We gonna bring out the Jeebus the for the no more oh. Mac Canada. Praise, praise the G. Oh, we're talking about going over the couch, dude. That's that's. Uh, I don't know if that's proper, but I'm I'm desecrating God Himself, so I will yeah. praise the Jeebus for much relief. The bullshit is real. The Steelers front office finally did something to Pittsburgh Steelers. They go nine and eight, and they go Super Bowl. <laughs> yes. Can I get a woo? Can I get a can I get a tree? Uh, woo. No. It's not a. Is it woo? Is that kind of thing? Yeah. Thing? All right. The Ravens beat the Bengals. the Bengals. Joe Burrow's hand fell off. Like it literally just. <laughs> he wasn't on the Here, injury there. report. A lot of controversy. Bengals are cooked. Football. Yeah, they, they are football hell. They needed Joe Burrow. Uh, Jake Browning is your new starting quarterback. You're going to need that defense to bail you out. And it's been a rough year for the Bengals because, of, you know, Joe Burrow's injury early on, it showed them how flawed they are, especially mm -hmm. on offense. Yeah. And now, um, how long can Mixon carry the rock? How long can, can Jamar Chase do it? This might be the last year of T. Higgins in Cincinnati. He might mm -hmm. be gone. So it's, it's, it's very tough sledding for Cincinnati moving forward. And then uh, you do play the Steelers, though, so there's still a chance. Uh, uh, but uh, Baltimore. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Sorry. No. Sorry, but Baltimore, for example, like, I, are they, are they good or are they just going to stay inconsistent? Because there are times where you want to put them in Super Bowl, but there there's like a game or two where they just like fall flat, and I, I'm not comfortable putting them in Super Bowl yet. So I would Ooh, say you division. only want to go division. I would say because Super once Bowl, again, like who? Uh, they 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 choked against Cleveland. Yeah, but who's who's the AFC? Who's getting out of the AFC? Is it is it because like the Chiefs like they can't even beat the Eagles? You know, like well the Chiefs don't have receiving hands, and if they can get the receiving hands, they hit a Super Bowl. I mean, I don't, I don't know if anyone can hit the Super Bowl. I just don't trust the Ravens because somebody's got to go. It was like that year. Remember when? Um, uh, it's going to be Giants. the Steelers. What? The bullshit's real. This is how the script works, baby. <laughs> Where do we tier these teams? Yeah. Are they both wild card teams? The Steelers and the Browns? Oh, he's putting oh, up I forgot. a poll. Yeah, I meant to do a Q&A. I meant to do a poll. Put the Steelers. Where do we put them? 
Well, the Steelers, they are, uh, unfortunately, their seventh seed. They're still in wild card somehow. I don't know well, how, but we're still in the wild card. I'd say the Browns are a solid wild card team. Uh, they're they're, they're team, the top wild card right now. They're 7-3. And, and Chargers and Packers. The Packers pull off what many would say was an upset. You know, you it thought that... Chargers are football hell epitomized. The like I, I, I'm about to call them Panther trash, but they are football hell. Uh, how long does Staley keep his job? Maybe probably eight. till the end of the season. And I mean, I just... he should have been fired in his ass after the uh, the choke in the playoffs. But like, where where what are they know? standing wise? They are they're four, four and six. six. Like, come on! And... If he loses another game, like he's got to be done, right? They... Cowboys Panthers, since we're playing the tank bowl, we got three consecutive tank bowls here. Cowboys are a division. They're not Panthers. division because Eagles. Oh they're yeah, Cowboys card. are squarely wild card. They're bad. like the best wild card team yeah. out there, which they're, is they're strange. The, but... Yeah, they're a dangerous wild card team. Panthers are Panther trash. They don't yeah, even because have they don't a have their pick. Yeah, like they were in a silent count because the Cowboys fans were threatening to dominate their stadium. Uh, Frank Reich has over retaken play calling, and it's not doing a damn thing. It's a straight up disaster. Bryce Young Bryce just Young, looks destroyed. It, it, it's it's stymied. it. it you're one Trevor Lawrence. That's what this is. Like they're gonna have to fire Fitterer and Reich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Giants Commanders. Giants ruin their tank <laughs> by winning. They do this every year. That's what cost them Chase Young when they won the last game of the season. They ended up drafting um, who they draft that year. The 2021 NFL draft. That was Kadarius Tony. No, when they they the Chase Young. No, that was the next. No, year. that was 2020. Uh, Seahawks and Rams. That was an ugly game. More like the Sea Frauds. Oh no! They oh no! Don't got, mention that, or else the rat or the the fans will go out on you. They'll say you they'll haven't watched you. the games. They'll say no. they'll call you a fat ass, and they'll they'll call that they'll at you on Twitter and call right. you just every and name of like, the book. Fuck you! Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised like, I didn't you. get told to kill myself, but whatever. It's just it's Seahawks fans. It's just once again, it's I'm not gonna have sympathy for a team that has 13 penalties and 130 yards. I think it was like 15 penalties. The Rams had 100 penalties at 100 penalty yards. And got charged for something called a legal demonstration. What the fuck is that? And What's speaking an of which, that that ticky tacky, I don't know. And speaking of that pass interference penalty on Tariq Woolen or on in the end zone, he was grabbing his jersey before they knocked into Quandre Diggs. Plus, we don't see an angle. Maybe he was grabbing his jersey on the other side. So if we want to be technical, it was a ticky tacky as fuck. But by the rules of the land, when he touched a jersey, do something like that. That's pass interference. Yep. I hate that fucking rule too, but unfortunately, there's zero tolerance for that shit. And like their defense is suspect as well. I mean, they're still and a wild card team. But they are. I, they'll probably loss. sneak in seventh, but like with how weird their team is, with how bad Drew Locke is, like it, it's they're they're gonna be a one and done if they're not careful. So we haven't had a monetized stream since mid August, <laughs> or actually maybe late August. Maybe the whole football season we haven't had any. And you wonder why, and you're bitching about the algorithm and all that stuff and this channel not growing. That's why, dude. YouTube ain't gonna pay for us. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's so bad. All right. I think that's... Let's do these last two games and then we'll read the remaining Super Chats. Vikings, Broncos. Broncos pulled off. They, uh, okay. they bring back the hopium. The hopium is real. And simple, baby. <laughs> are they in football hell? They are football oh, wow. hell. They're five oh, and yeah. five. They are football they're hell. Somehow, and the Vikings sorry. are still wild card. Wow. How are the Vikings wild card? They won Josh, six in a row. They won five Dobbs. in a row. Josh Dobbs. All right. And now Eagles, Chiefs. Eagles are Super Bowl. Yep. And Chiefs, Chiefs are, are Super Bowl. Yeah. Chiefs. Okay. If you had to pick the ugliest girl at the dance or the hottest girl at the ugly dance, it's got to be the Chiefs or the Ravens. Those are the two best teams in the AFC. I'm sorry. I assumed you guys were forever canceled. That's the only reason I feel comfortable talking about my porn habits whenever you make butt plug jokes. Anna DeVille gets nice gapes when she pulls hers out. Oh, Jesus. I mean, you're a little too degenerate for us, brother, but I get it. Gapes. Who watches gaping porn? 
I guess peace you never, uh, dude. It's the internet. Ever there's a fetish for everything. Dude. Well, that's what that's rule thirty four, right?